Hey guys, welcome back to Build Tune Race. We're actually at Holly LS Fest in Texas this week. We were at LS Fest West a few weeks ago. Bounced all the air, pretty much ready to go. David's got his Cornet. It's actually LS swapped. Everybody's looking at it. it's crazy Mopar deal. And he's been we've been hanging out this week down in Waco for a day or two. And now we're here. We're actually gonna go up, look at the surface. So we're at Texas Motor Speedway, so we're inside the NASCAR track. So it's pretty cool behind me and everything. Kind of kind of a cool vibe, but we're racing on pit lane for the oil prep deal. So we're going to go see what the service looks like and figure out what kind of tune-up we're going to put in this thing. We're going to get out there so far. It's humid. It's but humid, but we got to go to Bucky. It's overcast, yeah. so it's not too bad. We're really hoping it doesn't rain today, but we're uh, holding out, but actually it feels great right now. Well, unfortunately, with all the weather delays and everything, they said they're not going to run out the full event today, but we can go up and make some test passes. We might get one, might get two. We'll get two tomorrow for sure, and then they're going to run more or less the pot will go into both events tomorrow. It'll just be one big race tomorrow with two pots, and then if you lose or whatever, you can grudge race, test two, and all that. So tonight, as long as the weather is good, we're going to test, but supposedly it's going to rain here around nine or whatever, so we're just going to try to get in what we can. It's April ice time. Got the Bucky's ice, and we're, uh, we're going to ice this thing up and then go make a hit. So not fast, but I knew it wasn't fast. It was it's slick, slick, slick up there. But I'm sure the track will come around. But 666 is still faster than the first pass. I had more in it, but it's, I held it. We'll look at the log and see how much I was in it for full throttle uh, pedal. And I think a little at the end, I just said, oh, I'm just going to stay in it and see if the tire starts to take it. So uh, not not a bad first lick, especially with how terrible it is out there. But. Uh, Give us something to work on. That's good base. That's all right. It's raining, man. All right. <laughs> Dude, sorry. We tried. What a fucking refund. <laughs> when you win and you tell everybody you had one less run than them, then it'll just be. <laughs> I'm just. Gonna, where do I want me to drive? Uh, oh, right here. Get down there. The so gate, you... Right here. Oh. Yeah, right through the gate over here on your right. Sorry, babe. All we right. tried. I know I was the one that pushed it. Yeah, that's all right. Right. Dang it! So we, they, we literally—I was trying to put my safety shit on, and they called the—they called it. So it is what it is. At least they didn't let me go down an unsafe surface. So it's all—it's already pretty sketchy as it is. So we're—we're uh, we're good though. Welcome back to day two of Holly Ellis Fest here in Texas. So yesterday was just a quick day. We had that weather. Pretty happy with the car. We're back, ready to go again. We just had our meeting. We're gonna throw some ice in this and get ready to get called the lanes. We get two test passes today. So I'm gonna throw quite a bit more out on this one. If it takes it, throw even more at it, try to find the limit, and then we'll figure out a tune up for round one. And uh, it's one big race, all the pot. 
you lose, you're out. You can keep grudging if you lose, or you just try to keep going rounds and win this thing. So there's definitely more drag and drive style cars, but there's it looks like there's quite a few more small tire cars today than there were here yesterday. So we'll just get up there and see who we're up against. All right, got ice in there. Should be good. Hopefully we get cold soon so we didn't just burn up ice. Nice and cold. I think I might coat that with the lizard skin because like the lizard skin, other than where we spill it, it doesn't sweat. So it's pretty it's pretty good. It's just wet where we drop ice, but that stuff works really, really good. We're ready for our first test hit of the day. Looks like we might have David beside us, so see how this goes. And uh, just let it rip. I got it spiced up a little bit. From what I've heard, the track seems similar to yesterday. So uh, I hope it just goes down through there. Hopefully the parachute comes out and everything's good on this pass. So just gotta be aware of everything and and hope we get it. So hope we hope we nail it on this thing. So we'll uh, we'll give it a rip. Go back, look at data, see what we can do. It sounds step. like two, yeah. And this is just off the rip. Unless I'm just now into the... It pulled the chutes on me. Unless I'm just now into the fuel and timing <laughs> where it's starting to pop on the two-step. Like, yeah. it doesn't feel rough. I've just never had the car go pop, 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 pop. Like, actually get a pop going. Yeah. Interesting. I'll Maybe just have the air. How's the air? What's the DA? It's probably... Yeah, could be it, a difference. It's got to be different because of the air. Area. Yesterday yeah. it showed it. Right now it's not. It's because the... Internet's bullshit. Probably part of it. it. Is, bullshit. It is, Everybody it here uses your cell phones. I don't know. I just gotta look. <laughs> guys are overrated. It felt like heavy, and then it popped. And I don't know. I just want to make sure everything's okay when we got it on the on the twos. But I mean, it, it went faster off. by two tenths. Yeah. So. It looks good. It looked like it's moving out. Yeah, it felt it felt good. I'm looking at the log. Everything looks pretty good on this thing. Let's see. Let's take a couple looks at it. So we got uh, still shifting real early. 6300. 18 degrees timing. This should have made the most boost the car's ever made. Let's get over to the right table here. It looks like we're at 12.8 pounds boost in first. 12.2, 12 point, or 15, oh, there we go, okay. Looking at the wrong one. So 12.8 in first gear, second gear out the back one, spin a little bit, 15 pounds of boost. So she spiced up, making some good power there. Like I said, on that one, we went 119 mile an hour with like a 1760 foot. So nothing down low, all of it out the back, just trying to uh, drive around anybody if we end up with them. I really need to try to get this car to go. I'm not pedaling at all. GPS is 100%, so I can go ahead and probably turn up the two-step a little bit more. The two-step was a little bit higher, but not by a lot. 33, 3400 is all we are, 3350. So I tightened up the RPM window for the two-step, like the on and off. That's the only difference I made, but for some reason in the burnout, it felt like it like popped, it like poop, and then drove out. And then on the two-step, when I grabbed it, and it like popped, and then it, and then took off. 
So, and drove fine, everything felt fine out the back. I'm just trying to figure out what is going on. Like, where did the pop come from? Or is there an issue there? Is it just a setting? Am I now into the area where it's making a little bit of power to where it wants to pop or it's loading up the cylinder? Or my, my tuning adjustment on the, like, the offset for the two-step? Never had that with any other car, so I don't think it's fully that, but it's hard to say. Um, what it is but that's what i'm just trying to look at everything in the log anything in those two spots and listen to like video and it's loud here but we're trying to figure out like where that little pop was at so it's just what we're doing between rounds april got the shoot pack i'm gonna look over this a little bit more figure out some more data come up with a tune-up for the next pass probably just turn it up a little bit a little bit on two-step a little bit down track a little bit up top and just see uh, how fast we can go i went ahead and turned up the two-step by about 100 rpm put one more across it all the way put another one up top even been 15 so this should make about 16 and uh i mean this is some good power this is probably pulled 1300 horsepower we're trying to lay down up top here and it seemed to be taking it so um if anything we're gonna go fast up top but i really need to get this thing back down in the 160s which as many passes are going on and all the burns and everything we should be able to hopefully the track will come around and it'll take and go 160 so um even a 150 would be i think we'd be fast if we go 150s we should be able to go low sixes um but it's we're we'll load this in, it's the next step. If it takes this, we'll throw even more at it for round one. and went the fastest it's went all weekend to the 60 foot so what i'm going to do is actually turn down the hit and then come in heavier and we'll see what that does I actually turn down the two step but i brought all this in sooner so it seems to take it down track i'd really like to try to go you know 120 121 would be great but man i was driving it hard on that last pass it's all over the place so i know i'm like right on it for what it'll take power wise so uh, i also think the right lane's a little better than the left but we'll go up there and we'll see what we draw and then we'll see what we decide to do but i don't have too much in it for it. i don't think it'll go down but uh we we're definitely a little more aggressive we got salty over here in the lanes got all our other small tire competitors behind us or in front of us and uh, i guess we're gonna do a chip draw and see who we race oh! i said david <laughs> i know what number you got and he, uh, i said what does it say? Oh, yeah. It's good for it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, man! 
Did it pop on you still? Yeah. Did it really? And it got loose. Yeah, I was loose up top. But the minus one pound made a huge <laughs> Really? Difference. Nice. Hell yeah. I'd like to see the G meter, see what it does. Nice. All right, epic content. Um, five people on the golf cart. <laughs> we got a lot. You're starving me. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, now. all I get. Sorry. You hear that, people? This is my life. I get to starve. Pack the chute, pack the ice, but you don't get to eat. We got worried about GoPros, packing chutes, and getting the tune up in the safe, so we're going in round two. How did it feel? Loose up top. I got out of it early. I pulled the chute because it was. So we got to spice her down a little bit up top. Well, otherwise, on the hit and out, it felt great. And then, like, probably half track on is where it felt a little little sketch. So, yeah. left lane is it definitely not like as good. Early, so, we need to make sure we try to get right lane from anybody or flip for it. Or if they want to give me it, cool. And if not, we'll flip for it. So, oh, I would much rather have right. Because they don't have. Um, no, it's not like red right or anything. So, it's up to you once you have your pair. Nice and up. I think we're ready for round two. Just got called. So, we're going to finish this and we're going to head up there. I know. He didn't even look at me. He didn't even look at you. <laughs> it's probably because I'm a girl. he gave you a super duty look last yeah. time you did. Yes. It's probably because I'm a girl and he was afraid I was going to flip it. <laughs> how you feeling? Ready to see how we do. Hopefully we can get another win. And then it's a buy into the final, so hopefully it, hopefully it goes well. All we, this is a big round right here. It's a big, big round. This little Z right here, this thing is sick. Definitely one of the faster cars in small tire. And it's a uh, super light little little car. It is badass. So I actually saw a picture of this, I think on 1320 before we ran. So it'd be fun to see, uh, see how this thing does. So pretty excited. All right, guys, here we go. We got this little Z. It's fast. It's a really lightweight small tire car. So legit small tire car. Here we go. Do what we can. for a while and then he, he got loose and we drove around and then I got a little loose but I just stayed in it and had enough to drive around. Frick. That was close. 
That was real close. This is uh, popping. Tons of people. Like maybe over a car, and then I was catching him, and then he went whoop, and I went. He drove right around him. He bobbled, and I just drove around him. Yeah, it'll take. He was out. Like that thing moves, but then he just bobbled and just drove around him. That's the idea. Yeah, we were, we were pouring the horsepower <laughs> to it up top. So. No scramble button needed. Just fucking put it all in, let it happen. Huh? It's time for a little scramble. I need to set it all up though. Yeah, I've never played with it. I just put in what I think it was pretty easy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Offset, <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll take it. It took all of it. No problem, huh? Yeah. up here for what would be the semis but there's only three cars left we got the uh, red mustang white camaro and a blue mustang oh. so uh feeling real american up here today so, uh, chip draw all right so he got the buy i'm racing the red mustang so now we're gonna flip for flip for the lane because we both want the race <laughs> tails is nothing you can call it all right Ed. okay you want right? i'll take the right cool good, good luck. luck be safe out there yep. guys all right, babe. Let's get it. See if we got enough. Yep. That curve looked really nice. <laughs> nice and smooth. Very smooth. Smooth as fast. on the inside of the car. So I don't know if this backed off 
And then it wasn't. And then it wasn't there. And then it wasn't. And then you're through. pushing I, on the thing too hard. Maybe. Because like the nut even was on the floor when I stopped. It didn't just rip it through there. It also the nut was on the floor. So. Well, I think that's it for LS Fest. It's fun time. Car did amazing. Had that little issue. Got it fixed. Pulled in the trailer. Loaded everything up. Shout out to April for crushing it on the parachute. You're gonna get at it. Everything. Everything. Crushing Getting everything. ice, knowing when to go. It's definitely a lot more work with this combination. So, um, yeah, we're doing the thing, but we're gonna go eat some IHOP. Then we got a 10 plus hour drive home tomorrow, Colorado. So, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the LS Fest content. We're gonna take a week or two, take a little break, go over the car, do some things, give an oil change and uh, figure out where we're gonna race next. So thanks for watching. If you would hit the subscribe button, like this video if you're enjoying Salty's racing content so we can go do more of it. We'll see you guys in the next video.